Hello, I'm Charlotte and this is Books and Bargains. Today I'm going to share with you the first of two hauls for February and I've split these into two because I have a ridiculous amount of books this month. So this one is going to be book mail. So this is anything that has come through my letterbox this month. The first stat that I'm going to share with you are all ones that I have bought secondhand offline. So the first one is Stephen King's Carrie, which I bought at the beginning of the month. I want to collect these um, rainbow Stephen Kings, but before I do, I wanted to make sure that I like them. And I thought starting at the beginning was a good idea. I think I paid about £2 for this and it is in beautiful condition. So that one is going to hopefully be read soon. But I'm going to say that about a lot of books here and we know they won't get read. The next three books I bought from an Instagram sale. One of my friends was selling her secondhand books. And the one that I really wanted to get was When Dimple Met Rishi. So I picked that up and I thought I'd take advantage of the combined posting. So I also got Nerve, which I absolutely love the film Nerve. So I'm hoping that the book is just as good. And then I bought The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Now, I think this is definitely a booktube made me buy it purchase. And I think I paid six pound for all of those including postage so they worked out about two pound each and the lovely ladybug books that were selling them sent me some extras as well which i think i showed in a vlog the next two that i bought there was a girl i can't tell you who it is i really need to write these things down but she was selling books to make money for a charity and so you know that's my kind of thing so i bought two i bought the bookish life of nina hill which I've heard so much about and I really want to read this soon. I'm going to say that about every book, aren't I? That I want to read it soon. And then I also picked up Less by Andrew Sean Greer. I don't really know about this, but again, Booktube made me buy it. The next few books I bought brand new, I'd either pre-ordered them like the first one or just, actually no, two that I pre-ordered. So let's get through the pre-orders first. I pre-ordered Heartstopper Volume 3. This was from Waterstones. I was meant to be going to the event with Alice Oseman and so they got it signed for me and got that sent to me. So thank you so much to Waterstones Nottingham for sending me that. I had also pre-ordered and forgot The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I've heard so much good stuff about this gonna say I can't wait to get into it which is true and then I was thinking about ways to encourage people to get into reading and I saw on Amazon reading agencies quick reads so each of these is about 100 pages and I got Millie Johnson's The Little Dreams of Lara Cliff I haven't read any of Millie Johnson's work so I wanted to see if I liked her style I picked up A Fresh Start 10 Gripping Stories from 10 Best Selling Authors I picked up Nothing Hill Carnival, A West Side Story by Candice Carty Williams. And because I love Claire Mac McIntosh, I picked up The Donor. And I'm looking forward to reading these. I think I might do a separate video on them um, where I read them and see what I think and if I think they'd get people into reading more. Those are all the books that I bought myself this month. And I don't know which pile to go to next. I took part this month in My Bookish Valentine on Instagram and I was lucky to receive four books. The first one is actually second hand, but the girl said she'd seen it on my wish list, she was getting rid of it, and did I want it, and yes. That was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I also got sent Lockwood & Co, The Screaming Staircase. I saw this on Literary Diversions YouTube, and that's why I added it to my wish list, because she said how brilliant it was. I also have The Martian by Andy Weir. Again, love this film and I hope the book lives up to it. And another one that I'd, I'd not heard anything about this author. And then within a couple of weeks, I heard it on Literary Diversions YouTube and a couple of others talking about it. And that's Jane Harper's The Lost Man. So thank you to my bookish valentines for sending me those. 
The next few books that I've got were kindly sent to me by two of my booktube friends and the first two, firstly Victoria from what Victoria read was getting rid of some books and she was getting rid of American Psycho. I've heard such mixed things about this that I wanted to read it for myself and when she said that she'd send it me I was over the moon because if I hate it that's fine but I'm glad to be recycling the book that I might hate rather than buying it new. Not that I ever buy books new. And then she also sent me The Alibi Girl because she asked me if I'd read it and I said no. She said, is it on your Amazon wish list? I was like, mm, I think so. And the next day that was through my door, which was absolutely lovely of her. Thank you, Victoria, if you're watching. I've already read this and already loved it. CJ Skews is one of those authors that I just get lost in so I can't wait to read more from her. And then the lovely Gaia from Gaia Athena sent me Gemma Small versus the Universe. I read No Big Deal this month, no last month I think, and absolutely loved the fat rep in it and need to get into more fat rep books. So that was that one. And talking of fat rep, she also sent me There's Something About Sweetie, which is a companion novel I think to When Dimple Met Rishi. So I can't wait to dig into those. The last stack of books have all been sent to me, actually the first one was sent as part of my Wildest Dreams book box. I was quite disappointed with the box this month, I've had a couple of really great ones but this month was kind of meh, but I've got one more book box for them and then I might do a review, but this was a Christmas present and I'm not sure whether Wranglestone is my kind of thing, but we will see. The next book was from Readers First and that was Jenny Lee's Anna Kay. From what I've been told this is a retelling of Anna Karenik... Ka Ka I can't get my words out. Anna Karenik... Ka I oh, know, I can't say it. Anyway, you all know what I'm talking about. And yeah, cannot wait to read that. I was then sent the other misses from Mary Hubecker for HQ Stories. I'm going to be on the tour next month for that. So looking forward to reading that. I was kindly sent three books from Book Break. Emma at Book Break is so lovely. I said that these three books I wanted to read, but I understood that I couldn't really be sent all three. So when I did get sent all three, I was over the moon. Firstly was Little Bandage Days, which Emma herself from Drinking by My Shelf has talked about. And it says, how thin is the line between motherhood and madness? And I think this is going to be a fantastic book. I then have Rules for Being a Girl by Candice Bushnell and Katie Katugno and this is a proof copy but look how gorgeous it is and this isn't released till April so I'm going to hopefully read that before it's release and then the last one from them is a um, non-fiction called It's Not About the Burka. Now I'm really into my non-fiction books. I like to read own voices stories and get to know other cultures and this I'm really looking forward to diving into as I've not read anything about Muslims and this is written by Muslim women so I'm looking forward to that. I was then sent Guess How Much I Love You and also the smaller book but that has been sent on. This was part of a gifting um, Valentine's to celebrate the 25th edition and um, this was sent to me by Tandem Collective and I don't know if you don't know the story of Guess How Much I Love You, it is worth picking up because it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then the last one that I got sent this is the sneak peek proof copy of Lisa Williams' First Day of My Life. And I was so excited to get sent this because I'd spoken to them on Instagram saying how good it looked. So then to get an email asking if I wanted a copy was amazing so that's it for part one i will be coming to you hopefully on thursday with part two which are all the charity shop books that i bought this month and there's rather a lot if you have any questions please leave them below let me know which of these books that i should prioritize and until next time look after yourselves look after each other and always be kind